Disney fans, Kenzie Retro here, and welcome to, not as well I do one of these, a Kingdom of Isolation update. I was meant to get this done yesterday, but I was nursing the fatigue from my New Year celebration. But nevertheless, 2nd of January, it's time to get back to business. Now, as you'll have seen from that intro, yes, I used the 100 Years of Wonder intro, because this is it. Now it's time to start celebrating 100 years of Walt Disney Animation Studios. And where do we begin with celebrating this iconic, uh, this iconic uh, company? Yes, it's had its controversial moments, uh, but we'll leave that to the side. But that being said, though, that being said. We're not going to let that distract us from what's going to be a phenomenal year of celebrations. Which is why we're going to be making this the biggest year possible in the Kingdom of Isolation. Why? Because the ultimate goal at the end of the year is to have all the films in the animated classics lineup covered and up on my channel. So that is going to be um, from the episodes that I've <clears throat> recorded and yet to record that will be Atlantis, Lilo and Stitch, Brother Bear, Home on the Range, Chicken Little, which I'm really, really dreading, uh, Meet the Robinsons, Bolt, Princess and the Frog, Tangled, Winnie the Pooh, Wreck-It Ralph, Frozen, Big Hero 6, which I actually just watched earlier today, in fact. Um, now, which one came out next? Zootopia, or Zootropolis over here in the UK, but we're going to go with the Zootopia title. Uh, Moana, Ralph Breaks the Internet, or Wreck-It Ralph 2, Frozen 2, Raya and the Last Dragon, Encanto, and their most and Disney's most recent film, Strange World. Now, I'm also going to be looking at trying to get the Pixar films finished this year as well. So, I've got a bit of time. I've got a bit of leeway. Uh, I've also got a cup. I've also got a few specials in mind for this year. Um, as I mentioned in the Christmas special. Of Mickey's Subsidiaries, which is uh, the new spin-off for the Kingdom of Isolation. Um, we've got uh, it will be Home Alone two, following on from Home Alone from last year. Now, that's going to be the Christmas special. I'm determined at some point to get the Hocus Pocus films covered as well. I was going to try and get them done for Halloween, but couldn't get anybody in time to, uh, to cover those films. So, then we've got, uh, so like I say, the Pixar films. That will be Wally, -E, Up, Toy Story 3, Cars 2, Brave, Monsters University, Inside Out, The Good Dinosaur, Finding Dory, Cars 3, Coco. Incredibles 2, Toy Story 4, Onward, Soul, Luca, Turning Red, Lightyear, and maybe, just maybe, this year's latest Pixar film, Elemental, depending on when that goes on to Disney+. Plus. So, those are the films that I've still to cover in the Disney lineup and the Pixar lineup. What's happening as far as the specials are concerned? I've got three specials, apart from the Christmas special, that are just going to talk about Disney and Pixar. Now, for that, I'm looking to have multiple guests for that episode. Because, like I said, this is going to be the biggest year in the Kingdom of Isolation, and I want to make it as good as it can be. With that being said, 
we've got a lot to look forward to. So, the first anniversary, the first special, yes, it will be an anniversary special. The first one, which will be on the anniversary of the creation of the Kingdom of Isolation, that will involve talking about our favorite Disney films. They're not going to be ranked. It's just going to be like, just think of it as, just think of it as a normal, just think of it as your bog standard podcast episode. So that's special number one. Special number two is for more sentimental reasons for me. For those that have been following me long enough, know I like to have a video up on May 22nd. Why that particular day, though? Because that's the anniversary of what happened in Manchester, the Ariana Grande concert. And to this day, if I can find it, I've definitely got it somewhere. I know I have it somewhere. Uh, I just need to remember where I put it. I just need to remember where I put the thing. Yes. There we are. There we go. Now, obviously, as you can see, I did cover up the other faces that were on that page, just out of respect. <clears throat> I'm one of the survivors of the Manchester attacks at that Ariana Grande concert on that night. That interview in the Financial Times is proof that I survived. I didn't sustain any physical injuries, and I was able to, I was able to get interviewed the following day. It wasn't easy, <clears throat> but I'll go, I'll, I'll go more into that when I record that episode, which will be covering the Pixar films, our favorite Pixar films, and that will be up on May twenty second. Now, there's one more special that I have in the works as well. So, <clears throat> the Disney episode, the Disney episode for the anniversary, the Disney special for the anniversary of the Kingdom of Isolation will be March 27th. Then we've got the Pixar special which will be on May 22nd. But what about the big day itself? What about October 16th, 2023? Well, that one, we're going to combine the two. And we're going to talk about our favourite Disney and Pixar moments over the years. Now, with Disney in particular, it can be from it can be one of the from one of their animated classics. It can be from that forbidden territory that is known as the director video sequels. But they're officially the Disney Toon Studios films. Officially. They're unofficially the director video sequel. Because that particular cornerstone of Disney's history doesn't have the best reputation. But that being said, though, there are some hidden, there are some good little gems in there. You just need to, you just need to get through all the dirt to get to those gems. <clears throat> in Aladdin's case, you need, to, you just need to get through the dirt to find those diamonds in the rough, if you will. Now, I'm also going to be include, I'm also going to be allowing people to include the live action films. And there have been a lot of live action films. So that could be that could be films that could be like one of the older films like Old Yeller, films like that. Twenty Thousand Leagues Under the Sea, Davy Crockett, King of the uh, King of the Wild Frontier, I think that's what it was called. Uh what else was there? Um one of, one of my personal favourites, Homeward Bound. There'll, there'll be another fan favourite in there, probably Cool Runnings, that might get mentioned at some point. Um, what else is that? I mean, you've even, you've even got the Disney Channel films, so you, 
We could end up with Descendants. We could end up with High School Musical in there at some point. And don't worry, I'll cover those songs in the Kingdom of Isolation in due course. I just have the main, I just have the, uh, the main runs to get through. I just need to get through the Disney films. I just need to get through the Pixar films. And then I can start expanding to cover the other areas of Disney, the director videos, the Disney Toon Studios films, the Disney Channel films. Um, but with the Disney Toon Studios films, though, that's that's where it's going to get a little bit tricky because not all the director video films are on Disney Plus. So we will be able to cover those until they pop up on Disney Plus. So that being said, <clears throat> Just any moments, any moments from our favorite Disney and Pixar films. And these are like moments. So it could be anything. It could be anything. So that's the plans that we have in place for this year in the Kingdom of Isolation. But as we all know, plans subject change. Plans change all the time. Sometimes circumstances out without control get in the way. But the main goal for this year, the main goal for 2023, is to get through all the Disney animated classics. That's the main goal for this year. And then, once we've got through all of them, and... There is another animated classic coming out late uh, this year as well. And so bear with me. Upcoming films. Wish. That is this year's animated classic. And we also have a big live action remake coming to the big screen this summer in the form of the live action remake of the little mermaid which i think a lot of disney fans have reached the point where they're getting uh remake fatigue that they're getting tired of all these live action remakes but from a business standpoint they're making money for disney so they're gonna keep making the remakes the one remake, though, I am really worried about, not concerned, legitimately worried, Hercules, my favorite Disney film of all time. I am honestly really worried about that, because if this remake goes horribly wrong, you're going to hear it from me first. And I don't, I don't want these remakes to be bad. The only legitimately bad remakes that I've, that I've seen were Dumbo in 2019. And the Lion King remake. Because that one was just shot for shot, the exact same film. As the original in 1994. So. That being said though. I'm still going to cover the films regardless. I'm still going to cover them regardless. But in terms of the live action remakes. I'm still going to do. the. I'm still going to do your bog standard Kingdom of Isolation episode. Though. I'm still going to do that. But there's going to be, but it's going to be a combination of Kingdom of Isolation and the adaptation of variation. Where I will also be pointing out all the differences in the remake, comparing them with the original, and we will see. Which one, overall, is better? So, 
So, and again, that will all just be our opinion. You might agree with it, you might disagree with it, but especially when it comes to disagreement, please be nice about it in the comments. Anyway, that is, so that, like I said, that's the plans we have in place for the Kingdom of Isolation this year. That's the plans we have in place. Um, so, just recapping, the goals by the end of the year is to have the Disney animated classics up to Strange World covered in the Kingdom of Isolation. And then, maybe, just maybe, if there's still time, we'll have an episode um, going through going through how they all ranked and and then from there we'll just uh, cover the films as and when they come out uh, with the Pixar films we're going to try and get more of those done this year we're going to try there's no guarantee we'll be able to get the Pixar films done this year but we should fingers crossed get the Pixar films done next year for 2024 then <clears throat> we've also got the specials that we've got for talking about our favorite Disney films on March 27th. May 22nd will be our favorite Pixar films. And then October 16th, the big day for the anniversary of Disney itself, uh, will be the, um, that will be uh, just talking about our favorite, our favorite Disney and Pixar moments over the years. So. That takes care of that. Those are the main. Those are the main plans that we have in place. We've also got the Christmas special, which will be Home Alone Two, which will also be an episode of Mixed Subsidiaries in the process. Uh, now, I had to, I had to change the music somewhat when the episode went. Well, I say I've had to change the music. Well, um, I've changed the intro music for Mixed Subsidiaries somewhat to uh one of the more up one of the more recent uh disney um uh disney music uh logo things yeah that one that's the music i'm using for mickey subsidiaries and so yeah there's a lot, there's a lot to cover this year. There's a lot to get done. So as I said, we're going to make this the biggest year possible in the Kingdom of Isolation because we want to be part of the, the Kingdom of Isolation here. We want to be part of the celebrations as well. And we hope you guys are looking forward to be part of the, being part of the celebrations as well in the process. So that's the plans we have in place for the Kingdom of Isolation this year. And fingers crossed, all going well. We get all the Disney animated classics covered. Uh, the next episode, which I've been in the process of editing over the last uh, week or so, uh, is Atlantis. Then the next episode is going to be Lilo and Stitch, which I should be able to get recorded in the next week or so. I uh, just need to speak to my guest regarding that one. Uh, then, uh, then we've got Treasure Planet, which has already been recorded. And then it will be Brother Bear, and that film is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. So there's that. Um, what else is there? Bear with me, folks. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, let's see, there's a lot to cover. There's a lot we're looking forward to. There's a lot that we're going to be talking about this year as well uh, and I'm also going to be looking at doing a series talking about the Disney legends, names that have been synonymous with the Disney brand over the years and the first episode is of course going to be on Walt Disney himself and that will be done in due course if you guys have any names from Disney's history that you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. 
and I'll give you guys a shout out at the start of the episode. So, that will be the Legends of Disney series. Um, and if I can get somebody on board to cover, uh, to do it with me, I may just get another tier list for Kingdom Hearts. A tier list covering the bosses in the Kingdom Hearts franchise. But with so many bosses, we're going to have to split the bosses into their individual games. And with that, of course, we're going to be starting with Kingdom Hearts 1. So you're going to have Chernobog, you're going to have Ursula, you're going to have uh, Ansem as well. Or is he known as Zenith in the first uh, Kingdom Hearts games? Bear with me, guys. Uh, Ansem. Yep. Ansem Seeker of Darkness. Uh, wait, hang on a minute. Yep, there we go. <clears throat> so, yeah. So, yeah, there's a lot we're looking forward to in the Kingdom of Isolation this year, and we hope you guys are going to be there along for the ride uh, as well. So, um, oh, once, this up, once this update goes live, the next episode is going to be involving uh, the next King of Isolation. Next King of Isolation episode is going to involve Atlantis, Lost Empire. Then we're going to get Lilo and Stitch recorded, and then from there, I'm just going to work out days and times to get the rest of the films covered. So, that being said, we look forward to look forward to seeing you guys again soon. But um, but until then, folks. As I always say at the end of each episode, we'll see you guys next time in the Kingdom of Isolation.